these couple of games I play has actually helped it a lot and it's going to help me excel and lead over into training camp. The Boston Celtics are now the first team in summer league play to move to 4-0 after taking down the Philadelphia 76ers 100-80. to The Celtics took the lead in the first quarter and didn't look back. In this matchup, offensively, the Seas showed more balanced scoring. And with Peyton Pritchard gone, well, Carson Edwards made the most of his opportunity as he took over as the Celtics' primary ball handler. It's important to try to find my niche and try to find a way that I can be impactful. But at the same time, when you when I'm playing in something like this in summer league where I'm playing 30 minutes a game and, and have a little bit of freedom and it's the best opportunity to try to do everything you can and do it well at a high level. So then when it does time, come time where I maybe get an opportunity and they ask me for one thing, it's like, well, I've been working on it and I've had a chance to try to be my best at it. So that's part of it though for me is just trying to find my niche and my, my way of being effective every night and being consistent. Yeah, I was so, so proud of him. Um, really all those guys like, you know, for Carson, I think he's in. He's trying to find an identity as to as to what he is as a point guard or a shooting guard. And sometimes I think he struggles with that. And um, you know, when they talk to him and, and Romeo and Aaron, and uh, once Peyton left, it was an opportunity for those guys to play a position that they're not used to, secondary and primary ball handlers. And I thought Carson did a tremendous job of just making the right play every single time. Um, and I just I told him that after the game how proud I was of him for doing that. Uh, he knew when to shoot it, and he knew when to get the teammates involved. And um, he made the right read. So it, it was awesome to watch, and I'm really happy for him. I mean, I feel good where I'm at. I mean, yeah, I've been battling injuries uh, my whole career so far, and this is the first time I feel like I'm actually just playing and, and kind of getting back to how I was before. I mean, I got into the NBA. Um, I mean, it's still going to take some a little bit more time, and I feel like this right here, these couple of games I play has actually helped it a lot and it's going to help me excel and lead over into training camp. Now on the injury front, Yam Madar did not play because of a right groin sprain and summer league head coach said following the game that Madar is day to day and is expected to be reevaluated tomorrow. Closing out for your summer league coverage, I'm Amanda Flugrad for Celtics.com.